Green's maxim. As phrased by Paul Green, who introduced it, it states, make your contribution such as it is required at the stage at which it occurs by the accepted purpose of direction of the talk exchange in which we are engaged. To phrase it as a perspective comment, the principle is intended as a description of how people normally behave in conversation. Listeners and speakers must speak cooperatively and mutually, accept one other to be understood in a particular way. The cooperative principle describes how effective communication in conversation is achieved in common social situations. In daily life, a person unconsciously communicates with others in many ways, such as language, gestures, and expressions. In communication, it is expected to give or share information with others in order to make a conversation understood by the speaker and the hearer, there must be the general principle of language use, which is called the cooperative principle. The principle states that the speaker gives contribution in controversy, conversational in which the speaker is engaged. This cooperative principle contains four categories, which are formulated as basic rules or maxims. Maxim is a set of norms which language uses adhere into in order to uphold the effectiveness and efficiency of communication. Those four maxims are maxim of quantity, maxim of quality, maxim of relevance, and maxim of manner. The maxim of quantity. It is where one tries to be as informative as one possibly can and give as much information as is needed and no more. It means that you don't have to give a lot of inf information just as it is required. Now in the next video we are going to see an example of the violation of the maxim about quantity. In this video, in Nick is going to talk a lot with the guy that is next to, that is sitting next to him and he's going to violate this rule please don't do that sir please i, I would love to sit by myself right now there's something real creepy about you pal you want to get weird let's get weird You got a nice face. An anger problem? Living with them? Are you kidding me? Well, it's frustrating. It's like, just get a job. I like your hat. I like how it's not a team or a logo. It's just blue. Would you rather be covered in fish scales or feathers? Scales. Why are you, weirdo? You want to see me jump really high? <laughs> I'm afraid of dying, man. The enemy is in me. The enemy is the inner me. Do you understand a word I'm saying? You just nodded everything. <laughs> I need to change. And you showed me that. I have an anger problem. Thank you. Can I get a hug? As we could see in the video, the maximum relation was violated because Jessica Day wanted to follow one topic, but Russell and Uli were talking about their vacations in Oaxaca, so Jessica was uncomfortable, so she tried to make a new conversation about the food and about what they were doing, so it was a violation in the conversation and it is related to relation, the maxim relation. The maxim of quality. It is where one tries to be truthful and does not give information that is false or that is not supported by evidence. So 
For example, when you tell a lie or when you're not completely honest. Next, we will see a video that states how the maxim is violated. Rachel and Phoebe are friends and Rachel has this gift certificated in a spa. But Phoebe didn't let her receive the massage because she is against of those massage chains. So Rachel says yes to Phoebe in order to be polite. The video shows how Rachel broke her promise and how Phoebe lies. Hi there. Hello. Welcome to Lavender Day Spa. How may I help you? Oh. Um, hi. I'm, uh, I have a massage appointment under Rachel Green. Okay. And here is my gift certificate. <laughs> This has been torn up. And taped back together. <laughs> okay, well, I'll call you as soon as your massage therapist is ready. Okay. Have a seat through the glass doors. Through the glass doors. <laughs> through the glass doors. All righty then. <laughs> Phoebe, your next client's in the waiting room. Okay, do we have to talk like that when they're not around? <laughs> oh. oh, no, no, no. Listen, is there someone who can fill in for me? Sorry, everyone is booked. But that woman can't know that I work here. She's a friend of mine, and I made this big stink about how awful these massage chains are. Then why do you work here? Because it's good money. <laughs> That doesn't change the fact that this is an evil, blood-sucking corporate machine. Well, I think this is a great place to work. Okay, are they listening? <laughs> Hello, yeah. <laughs> it's time for your massage, yeah. Put, put your face in the hole. Oh, a Swedish massage from a real Swedish person. Huh. Okay, then I'm Swedish. <laughs> so, what's your name? It's a normal Swedish name. Ikea. Oh, what an interesting name. Yeah. You know, I I'm of... time for your scalp massage. Oh. <laughs> wow. I really love your... Oh! Is something wrong? No, it's just, um... It just feels so good. Ikea? <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, say, you'll know this. What's the capital of Sweden? Um... Stockholm? Damn, I wish I knew if that was right. <laughs> the maxim was violated when Phoebe pretended to be another person taking her boy and her name. Then, Rachel noticed that Phoebe was lying, and she continues with the violation, pretending that she is speaking with a stranger. One example is when Rachel asks her about her name, and Phoebe answers, it's a normal Swedish name, Ikea. This was the first violation. And the last one is when Rachel noticed that Phoebe was lying. When she recognized her truth, then she started lying. That's why she asked her the capital switch. The maxim of relation. It is where one tries to be relevant and say things that are pertinent to the discussion. It is when you make a coherence in a conversation and you just follow the same topic. Now we are going to see another video where the maxim is violated and this maxim is the relation. In this video, Jessica Day is going to start a conversation but neither Russell and Uli it's going, are going to follow this conversation. They have their own topic, uh, but Jess wants to add another topic. Hi, 
Oh, I'm Hi. sorry I'm late. Hey. Hi. Hey, remember last time we were hugging? <laughs> you were naked. That was weird. No. <laughs> that was not weird at all. I have no problem being naked. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are the quesadillas? You know what? I've actually never had oh, them. Oh, the eye roll. Mm, missed that. I didn't actually roll my eyes. I just needed to quickly stare at the ceiling. Hey, Uli. Mm. I love your name. Thank you. Or should I say, Gracias. Fun? Yeah. It is. So we got like eight more of these, right? Oh, I love this I song. This song. When we were on vacation in Oaxaca, we only hummed this song for like an eight hour drive. Well, it wouldn't have been eight hours if you hadn't gotten lost. Uh, at one point, we were just following some donkeys. Oh my gosh, look, it's food. I love food. No, they were not donkeys. I can't even remember what we were talking about. It wasn't a road. For the millionth time, just because a road's not on a map doesn't mean it's not a road. Inside, boys. You know what means it's not a road? When there are guys in tanks telling you to turn around. Oh, come around. on, there's two kids in a jeep. A car gets stuck in the mud, and no, you could not move. Oh, here it is. God forbid you break a nail. I got one manicure, one time. I'm not doing this. Oh, no, I'm not doing this. Yes, you... Uli's all right. Russell's all right. They just seem a little weird. Surrender. Surrender. I'm leaving. You mean before you get your cake from the left? That's it. As we could see in the video, Nick was talking a lot, and the Chinese guy, he didn't spoke even a word. That's why this maxim is violated, and Nick was the person who talked a lot and he was just speaking and speaking. On the other hand, the other the Chinese person called trans, he was just listening and he never said anything. He didn't violate this maxim, but Nick violate the maxim of quantity. The maxim of manner. It is when one tries to be as clear, as brief, and as orderly as one can in what one, one says, and where one avoids obscurity and ambiguity. We are going to see next a video that violates this maxim. It is about a relationship formed by Rose and Mona. Mona suggested Rose to have a conversation about where their relationship goes, but Rose it's very nervous because he didn't want to have this conversation. Here we go. Mona, um, I think it's time we, we had a conversation about about where things are with us. Yeah, I, I, I think I suggested that. <laughs> uh, we, we are so... <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, I, I, I really like you. And I, I love, um, you know, hanging out with you. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Okay. I mean, there's no point in spending time with someone if, if it's just fun. I mean, it's got to be, it's got to be going somewhere, right? <laughs> so where, where is it going? That's the real question. <laughs> and, and the answer is, it's going somewhere fun. <laughs> now, I, I know what you're thinking. Fun was fine for you, like, ten years ago, you know, but, I mean, you're not, you're not getting any younger. No, I mean, no, not, not you, not you. You, you are getting younger. <laughs> I mean, you, you look like you're getting younger by the, by the second. What's your secret? <laughs> I'm sorry, so, um, so where are we? Oh, well, well, to sum up, 
<laughs> We're having fun. You look young. <laughs> okay. But that's not enough. <laughs> so, so, here's the key to my apartment. Really? Really. You don't think this is too fast? Yeah. <laughs> In this case, the maxim was violated because these two people needed to talk about something very important for their relationship. Ross didn't want to have a serious relation with Mona, but he couldn't say to her, so he tried to tell her as polite as possible. He didn't want to hurt her feelings, and at the same time, he didn't want to label the relation. But he wasn't clear enough because he said the same thing over and over again. At the end, everything was so confused that he decides to give her the keys up from his apartment in order to avoid again the conversation.